Christopher Hivu plays Tormund Giantsbane in Game of Thrones. The big bearded wildling leader with a soft spot for Brienne of Tarth, Hivu's character has quickly become a fan favorite. But what else has the Norwegian actor appeared in? Why does he look so familiar? The Thing Although he had appeared on a few Norwegian TV shows and one feature film, Hivu's break into international cinema came when he was cast as one of the Arctic researchers in 2011's The Thing, a prequel to the 1982 John Carpenter classic. Hivu's turn in the widely panned horror flick didn't win him any awards, but it put him on American casting director's radar, setting the wheels in motion for his eventual role on Game of Thrones in 2013. After Earth the Thing may not have lived up to expectations, but Hivu's next movie, 2013's After Earth, gave him a real crash course on how badly things can go for a major motion picture. Problems started for the actor when he showed up on set and the makeup artist decided to cut off his long hair and bushy beard, a decision he fought, even getting star Jaden Smith to back him up, but the makeup crew won in the end. After Earth was mauled critically, so maybe losing the beard was worth it. It makes him harder to recognize in a movie he'd probably rather forget. Force Majeure Hivu returned to his Scandinavian roots with 2014's Force Majeure, a dark comedy that follows a downtrodden husband in an unhappy marriage. Hivu, who plays the best friend character, told Scan Magazine it was a refreshing change of pace. I didn't have a sword in my hand. I wasn't climbing an ice wall, but playing a normal man. As an actor, you always want to be extraordinary, but to play an ordinary man is a really big challenge. That challenge had a huge payoff. If you took the award for Best Supporting Actor at the Scandinavian equivalent to the Oscars in 2015. In Order of Disappearance that same year, Hivu played a gangster who gets beaten up by Swedish acting legend Stellan Skarsgård in the darkly funny revenge drama In Order of Disappearance. The movie follows a father who goes after a local drug gang in revenge for killing his son. The film, acclaimed for its artful blend of black comedy and bloody violence, has been described as a Scandinavian version of Fargo. Lilyhammer Hivu rounded out a busy 2014 with a part in Netflix's Norwegian-American crime drama Lilyhammer, which follows a former American mafia boss hiding out in Norway. Hivu appeared in the episode Foreign Affairs, in a small role as a Greenpeace worker. Sharp-eyed viewers may have noticed an allusion to Hivu's Game of Thrones gig. During one scene, a television clearly shows Hivu as Tormund in a scene from the HBO hit. The Last King in 2016, Hivu got to act out one of the most important events in Norwegian history. The protection of a future king during the Norwegian civil wars by a group of patriotic warriors. Hivu grew up learning the 11th century story that inspired the last king in school, and he was excited about the role. The characters in the movie spend a lot of time on skis, believe it or not, since that was the fastest way for medieval Norwegians to get around, which led to some risky stunts for Hivu. Beck the Scandinavian police procedural Beck has gone through many changes during its 20-year run, including casting Hivu as the new partner of the show's namesake police detective Martin Beck. We are from police and we are here now. There is no news. Well, the store has the burst him. As a longtime fan of the show, Hivu eagerly accepted the chance to join the cast, telling Scan Magazine before he got the gig, I have played many bad guys and villainous roles, so to play a cop will be great fun and very cool. The Fate of the Furious Hivu's most high-profile movie role came courtesy of 2017's The Fate of the Furious, in which he played Connor Rhodes, right-hand man and muscle for main villain Cypher, played by Charlize Theron. Hivu was a huge fan of the Fast and Furious franchise before he got his chance to join it, and he also wasn't the only Game of Thrones star in the movie. Natalie Emmanuel, who plays Missande, returned as Ramsay, the crew's hacker. Wyndham Rewards Commercials now, while Hivu usually plays dark, violent roles, he can be silly when necessary. Like when he started playing the eccentric, wild-eyed Wyndham Rewards wizard in the hotel chain's A String of Commercials, clearly the greatest part of his career. Not convinced? Observe. Are we in the future? Actually, we're in Branson, Missouri. And now you've got all the breakfast you can eat. Yeah! <laughs> Waffles! Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.